<laughs> oh, the lovers. All right, so love coming in, um, definitely on your mind. Um, definitely something that you're focusing on. Not focusing totally. I feel like you're taking it day by day, step by step. But it is something that you're definitely interested in. Maybe you've had a closed off period for a while. Maybe you're just in love with the idea of love right now. I know some of you are groaning and going, oh, no, I have no interest. Well, then this isn't your read. But the lovers coming out as the theme of the month definitely says that you're interested. Definitely says um, that you wouldn't turn a blind eye if it was coming in your direction. And some of you may already be dating and meeting people and feeling the love this month, feeling like there's some suitors out there and some people, you know, worth talking to and getting to know. The first card you have, <laughs> okay, so if you're telling me you're not interested, then I'm going to say yes, because not that you're not interested, but I think some of you, you know, may have been burned into your little um, skeptical of it, but you have the two of cups coming up for your current position. So Leo, who did you meet? You either met somebody that you really like, you're about to meet somebody you really like, you are on the precipice of feeling, you know, maybe you're really intuitive and you're like, this is the month or this is like, it's coming up in the next couple of weeks because you have the two of cups here, twin flame card, karmic card, soulmate card. Everybody corrects me on what they think it is. The bottom line of the definition of the two of cups is a solid attraction, is a solid connection. It is a deep connection. It's not just a la di da. It's a very special connection um, with somebody that you're extremely attracted to. Again, it's an intimacy on a much deeper level. And to have the lovers as your theme of the month and come in with this, I don't really know that we need to read anything else because this says to me, you know, if you haven't met this person or if you're not dating already, this I would start because this obviously is a sign that the universe is saying, hey, Leo, get out there, mingle. You're single, ready to mingle. If you, even if you don't feel like it, I feel the groans, guys. I feel groaning right now. But I would, if this is what I'm pulling in the very beginning of my read, um, I would be like getting out right now. All right, the next card you got, see, and this makes sense. That's why I'm hearing groaning. Or that's why I'm hearing whatever. It never happens to me. Um, because you have the tower. This is how you're feeling. So this is what you want. This is like the theme of the month. But the tower is how you're feeling. Devastation. You've been betrayed before. You've had, um, you, this is a relationship at one point that you had that was really successful. You thought things were really good. And it was just completely torn down in front of your eyes. Everything, it, it was complete and total destruction of something you thought you knew. And so this is going to hurt, like hurt, this is going to hurt or burden any chance of this coming in if if you don't clear that energy if you don't and i know you're going to be like hey easier said than done you know like i've just been hurt in the past and every time i think i'm on one path i get broken hearted but I, this time it's going to be different um because there's something here very static me very electrifying in this read like immediately i can feel it that's very um like now's your time um, and I know you're probably like, oh God, I've thought this before, but I'm telling you, um, you've got to get past this. Now, this may also be your walls need to be broken down. Like you've just got a million walls up right now protecting yourself, which rightfully so. Um, but, but you're like, you're waiting for something so substantial to come in and kind of break those walls down, if that makes sense. All right. The next card you have, I don't know why these are giving me such a hard time. My nails aren't even that long. The next card you have is your distant past. So over the past five, 10 years, could be throughout childhood. And you have the page of wands. The page of wands is a spark. It's curiosity, it's a confidence. So that definitely tells me that this tower moment is coming from something. The page of wands is either you have not had success in dating or relationships, period. Because I feel like somebody out there, it could be one person, is literally telling me like, oh, it's never gonna happen. Oh, I'd rather be alone than go through the pain of love and then hurt and then love and then hurt, etc. The page of wands though is the universe's way of saying, look, like there's a spark, a curiosity coming your way and just pay attention to that and just understand you've had it before. Majority of you've had something special. A majority of you felt something very significant and very special with somebody. And the universe putting this card here is saying, okay, like try it again, light the match and we'll, we'll cover the explosion. So the universe is saying like, we'll have your back. Just get out there a little bit. Just spark your curiosity. Just pique your interest a little bit like you have done in the past. And this time we'll meet you with an explosion. This time we'll meet you with something substantial or at least a lot better of a situation than what you've dealt with in the past. The next card you have is your immediate past. So over the past few weeks, past month or two, and you have the Eight of Cups. Makes sense. This is stagnation. It's 
slow moving, it's not moving in the direction you want, it's dissatisfaction. Ho, hum, ho, hum. That's what you're carrying on about right now, but this is what you have in store for you. This, I understand. It, I, I've dated, I've dated and I've done the online dating, I've done this type of scenario before. I've done meetup groups, trust me, the groan has come from me as well before. But the Eight of Cups is a dissatisfaction because it feels like it's not moving and we feel like we're wasting our time or you feel like, Leo, I just see you being like, why even bother? Like, it doesn't, it doesn't happen for me or if I do meet people that they're, you know, disingenuine, they're jerks, etc. So I just, I feel this very negative energy coming from Leo's regarding dating, regarding love. And I understand and I can feel the reason why um, because this says a lot, okay, and I get that, but I implore you that the universe is trying to tell you, like, try again. At least, at least put a little energy into seeking out. If you have been lately and it hasn't been working, change it up. Change your profile. Go on a different site. Decide not to online date at all and do meetup groups or do a matchmaker, whatever, because there's something out here for you. The next card you have is your distant future. So over the next month or two, um, and you have the moon, which is Pisces card. So you could be dealing with Pisces. Um, oh, and this is Gemini's card. So you could be dealing with the Gemini. But the Pisces card here, the moon is um, an illusion. It's fear of the unknown. And I think that's what's holding you back because it's like, if you could have a crystal ball that could tell you where your future was going with each of these people, you would be much happier right now. Because the moon is saying, look, I always use the example, you're in the woods, there's a sliver of a moon, and you see this giant obstacle in front of you. And you're like, okay, that's either a bear that can eat my freaking feet, or it's a giant rock and there's nothing to be worried about. And this is kind of how I feel you're going, like a turtle slow pace, which is not a bad thing, but don't fear something that hasn't happened. It's almost like you self-sabotage things that are coming into your life, things that could hold this type of potential because of these past moments. And so the moon is like your distant future, and we're gonna clarify that and get a little more information here in a minute. But the moon is almost like, because you don't know how it's gonna end, it's almost like you had abandonment issues and people left you. And like, even back to like mom or dad, somebody left your family, somebody, you know, deserted you and your siblings or, or your, you know, your mom was left by your dad, etc., vice versa, whatever. The moon, because this, this immediately screams to me like, you would rather leave them first than have them leave you. Like you don't deal with the leaving well, you don't deal with somebody not wanting to be with you well, not that anybody does, but for some reason it's extremely hard for some of you. And so the moon is like, even if you think, even if you think that there's a glimpse of something that could go wrong, you're out, you're gone. Bye, checking out. Like give it the benefit of the doubt because the moon, again, is a fear or an illusion of something that's not there, that hasn't happened or that you don't know, you can't foresee because you're not a fortune teller. And so it's kind of like you'd rather get out of the situation before it gets bad than actually, you know, go all the way through it. Either way, it sucks because either way you're leaving a situation that could potentially be good that you're sabotaging or you're going to have to live with it not going good. And either way, you're in a sucky situation. How about thinking that maybe this time it could actually be a fulfilling, healthy relationship? I know, easier said than done. But if you think that way instead of when waiting for the other shoe to drop, then you might have a little more success, but uh, feeling successful in, you know, sticking through it. The next card you have is the Six of Cups. And this is how you're going to, or this is the next few weeks. Okay, this is your um, immediate future. And the Six of Cups is a reminiscing. It's looking back. It's um, meeting somebody. Now, this could be somebody from your past coming in. This is not a reconciliation read, but that doesn't mean that singles don't have people come in. Um, and I definitely feel like this is you either remembering a situation that was a pleasant experience. It was a pleasant relationship that you had. It was a pleasant dating experience. And you're kind of reminiscing going, hey, meditating, looking back going, you know, that's what I want. Now, this is also like when you're a child or young adult or teenager and you're thinking, you know, 10 years from now, I want to be married with six kids, two dogs, you know, whatever whatever it is to you, or I can, I want to meet my life partner and go travel the world for the rest of my life or whatever it is. The six of cups is like you remembering the things you always wanted. And now it's like, now's the time to go get it. Now's the time to make a move. Even if you make a little move, a, a little move is better than no move. All right. The next card you have is um, something that's going to happen throughout the month. It could be the beginning, middle, end. It could last for 20 minutes. It could last for three days. This is a king of wands. This is somebody I feel coming in who is very confident, um, they have good morals, good, you know, 
good sense of self and they're very magnetizing and I think they're going to scare the shit out of you and that's why you're going to be feeling like this fear that hasn't happened because this person even with your begrudging feeling on some of some of you not everybody not every Leo is going oh love sucks or or I've had but I, I just get this overwhelming sense that a lot of you are like I would rather be alone than to deal with the BS which I get it trust me I have been there plenty of times the king of wands though is somebody who's going to come in and they're going to like you be attentive be romantic they're going to actually put in the effort which i think then in turn makes you more nervous because you're like wait a minute is this real are you playing a game with me so leo you just got to kind of try and get out of that mindset because this person not only will kind of break down this wall a little bit more and and encourage you to feel a little more secure around them um this will also build your confidence and then you start blowing it's like you guys are magnetic towards each other and you build each other up the next card you have is how you're going to feel throughout the month okay and you have the hanged man and this is better than the tower right the hanged man is sacrifice it's self-wisdom so i think that you're if at some point going to feel like, well, you know, maybe I will sacrifice some extra time for this person, or maybe I will let my guard down a little bit more from this person. Cause I just feel something magnetic towards them. The hanged man is saying, all right, I'm willing to sacrifice. It feels like you're going to feel that way towards one or two people. I feel like a single person, but you may date a few people to get there or talk to a few people. Um, the hanged man though, is definitely you saying, okay, you know, I might be willing to like, um spend extra time with this person or maybe you know um get a little lovey-dovey with them at first i'm feeling like this hard like you know i i'm just gonna be very careful because i don't want to get screwed over but yet i think like you're gonna start to feel a little more indulgent if that makes sense the next card you have are your hopes and fears so um the ace of pentacles is a great card i love this card this is definitely a hopeful card um this is your hopes and fears for the outcome of the month. And the Ace of Pentacles is opportunities. It's a plethora of opportunities and it's potential. That's all you want is to see some potential and then you'll feel better moving into those baby steps. You'll feel better. Like if you see one person that might be a good suitor. Okay, okay. All right, so this is cool. You know, there are some decent people left out there. And then like, oh, another person, huh, okay. And this is new beginnings. And I think that's what you want. Like you don't want these tower moments. You don't want the dissatisfaction. You don't want the negativity. That's not Leo style. Leo style is um, incredibly gracious and very enthusiastic and very passionate, very compassionate. And that's, and that's what you're looking for. You're like, I want a new beginning that proves me wrong that proves my past wrong, that proves that, you know, there are some diamonds in the rough left out there for me to discover. All right, the next card is your outcome. I don't know why these cards are being difficult. Your outcome is, yeah, the Ace of Cups. Okay, so Leo, get out and start dating, please, if you're not already, um, because, I mean, those are the best cards you could have in a reading about love. Um, the Ace of Cups is love. It's also new beginnings. You have two aces here, double aces, meaning, um, you know, new beginnings, new potential. The Ace of Cups is a new beginning. It's an attraction. It's a friendship. So, so what if you want to move a little slower? So what if you want to take your time? So what if you want to make sure that, you know, you, that like you see people for who they are and you know that you're being treated the way you deserve? That's fine. Take all the time you need in the world because this king, he's all about moral standards and he's going to be right there with you going, he's going to be feeling the same way. And he's like, Hey, take all the time in the world that you need. And your outcome is that you start feeling some very deep gratification, some very deep gratitude towards this, this person who's coming in. Again, I think you might date a few people, but I think that, that you're going to narrow it down pretty quick or that and it may even be like an organic, um, you know, you meet this person like at your kid's school or um, at a friend's party or something along those lines. Okay. Now your clarifying card for this ace is um, the seven of cups. So the Seven of Cups is about wishes, it's about wish fulfillment, it's about dreaming. Now, the only thing with this is, the other thing about the Seven of Cups is about temptation. So, I just heed you to be very careful. I feel like you may have a few people that come in that are interested, and your gut is going to tell you that one of them um, is maybe, like, just saying what they think you want to hear, um, you know, like they're the whole package, or you think they're the whole package, and um, just watch that person, okay? Just be careful because I feel like you have this king who's gonna be tried and true and then you're gonna have this other person who's gonna come in who's gonna be like, hey baby, how you doing, blah, 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 and you're gonna be like, hey, and then 
yeah, they're like a player or so anyways, my whole thing is if it's too good to be true, if it seems too good to be true, if it quacks like a duck and it acts like a duck, then it's a duck. Okay. But I, I don't, don't put too much energy into that. I think you're going to figure it out pretty quick because you have this lining up for you. And this may be why the moon's here because you're going to be like, wait a minute. Is this person like somebody I've known from the past? Is this person, you know, and it might even be that this person that there is somebody coming in from your past who's like, like, hey, how's it going? Like they just pop up randomly. It could be from like years ago and they pop up randomly and you're like tempted to like, and then you realize, no, 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 no. Cause this person was not a good person for me. This person was not like, no. So just be careful with that. Um, again, you have so much good going on here. I would be like, dating immediately if I were you if you're not already dating and if you are I would just be spicing it up a little bit or ramping it up now you have the eight of pentacles crowning the moon and that's a work it's a dutiful it's a um, hard work and putting a lot of energy into it so I feel like you're going to almost feel like dating is work to a certain extent because you're being so cautious because you're being so diligent but that's okay because I think that's the best way to get over the insecurities of the things that you've had to deal with before. I wanted to clarify that though. And you have the King of Pentacles, which is stability. This is wealth. This is um, a definitely a very strong, um, capable individual. And I think this is, I think that you guys are going to build on each other. And I think that this King of Pentacles is here to stay. Because again, this is very businesslike. This person's almost like, you know, I'm very interested in getting to know you. Even if you need, you know, a plethora of time to trust me to build up to feeling secure around me that's perfectly fine i'm in it for the long haul this person is not going anywhere um and again you guys may start off as friends because the ace of cups is very much loving and excitement like the butterflies in the stomach but it also represents new beginnings in friendship and in love so this may be somebody who's like hey and you're like well you know i can i can do friends right now i can do some dating but you know i'm not gonna rush into anything right this second and they'll be like hey it's all good but i think you have some amazing things coming with those three cards in your read so all right leo